Do you want to learn painting this beautiful evening scene with watercolors? Hello everyone, I am Sanika and welcome back to the new video tutorial of step by step watercolor painting. So first of all I have taken a 300 GSM watercolor paper which is cold pressed. I have mentioned the link of the paper in the description in case you wish to buy that. Then I am using a bigger size brush to give a nice layer of water onto the entire paper. Today I will be using some different types of watercolors. So these are watercolor inks from Beyond Ink. So I will be using those. I have put a link of them as well in the description in case you wish to check them out and buy. You can do that from there. So I have just taped the paper on all the four sides with my masking tape. And I have just uh, given a nice plain water wash to the entire paper. We do this because we are going to do a wet on wet watercolor technique. So now with the inks I have taken a purple color or, or a violet color. Then I have taken a pink color and I have taken orange color. So I am starting with those colors. I am just putting a drop of each of them on my paper. You can also use them by just uh, taking off a few drops of those inks in your palette and then painting with them on the paper or else you can directly paint it like this. But remember whenever you are doing watercoloring, it is a must to use 300 GSM watercolor paper only, which is 100% cotton, or else you won't get good results even if your paints are good or your colors are good, or even if you are painting it very nicely and beautifully, still you will not be able to get good results because the paper is very important when it comes to watercoloring. So always remember to invest in your paper first. It's okay if you don't invest in uh, good brushes or very good professional paints. A normal artist grade uh, Brewstro color tubes or Camlin cakes also are fine which are quite affordable to start with. But make sure that you use good quality papers. So I am linking a few of the papers in the description which you can check out to buy if you want. Okay, so I am just uh, blending all the three, three colors nicely in a slightly curved stroke. Just observe carefully the kind of stroke I am using to paint this. And I am blending them with nice curved strokes into each other. So if you have watched the video till here and if you are liking the kind of tutorial that I have made so then make sure to hit the like button and drop a comment saying that you love this tutorial so that I can make more such tutorials for you all also you can check the other tutorials which are there on my page by tapping on my profile and going just scrolling through my youtube videos there are many more such tutorials on my page so I am just adding a few more of the color pigment because uh, in the bottom portion of my painting there is no much color left. So I will just uh, add more of the same colors and continue with the same strokes to paint the entire background. Make sure you do this when your colors and the paper is nice and wet because uh, if it is dry you will not be able to blend them smoothly enough. So the trick to get a nice smooth blend is to Blend them when the colors and the paper is still nicely wet as you can clearly see here. So apart from these, if you want to learn more such paintings, then I am also a teacher on Skillshare. So Skillshare is a platform on which there are online pre-recorded classes which are very detailed out classes broken down into various lessons. So you can watch those classes. Currently there is a beautiful offer going on on Skillshare in which if you register via my link you can get a nice one month free trial in which you can watch all my classes completely for free. So if you wish to get the one month free trial just tap on the link which is there in the description. The first 100 people who will tap on the link and register will get a one month free trial on Skillshare and can watch all my classes on free and I am on Skillshare by the same name RT Vibes by Sanika so you can definitely check out the classes 
so now we have painted the background and now wait for it to dry up completely you can see i have waited for a few minutes and my paper is completely dry and the paints have blended in very nicely and smoothly so after that i am just using my white color to mark my nice small sun this you can uh, just mark the location i am drawing it in the central lower portion of my paper for this i am using my camlin brush four number size uh, it is also there pinned in the description and the colors which i am using are also pinned in the description these are my custom made colors water colors and i have converted them from tubes to pans so if you want to know more about that i have just uh, pinned the link of that video right above on this video as well as i'll leave a link right after this video ends so after this video you can check out that to know more about the watercolors that i make and use so now i am uh, just using my black color the same black watercolor and with my four number brush i am just making some grass so first of all i made some land below on the edge of the paper and after that i am just uh, painting some strokes for grass so while doing this don't press your brush too much keep your hand light so that you get thinner nice strokes you don't want the strokes to be thicker in size so as you uh, push your grass blades upwards just lift your brush to get a nice point at the end now let's make something about just uh, let's add some detail there so i'm using the same black color and while i am doing this carefully observe the brush strokes that i am using to make this thinner and thicker so i am making some tree branches here so again if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel just press the subscribe button which is right below this video and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos later on also make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to put on your comments if you like the tutorial just drop in that uh, i love the tutorial and i'll be glad to make more such tutorials for you all also if you know any other of your friends or family members who are interested in painting or drawing you can just uh, use the share button and share the video link with them so that they'll also benefit from this and it will also help me reach out to more such amazing people as i am painting this just observe the locations in which i am using my paint to make some branches and do it accordingly don't overdo it otherwise it won't look nice when it's cluttered now i am making some bird sitting on the branch and now let's add some foliage to the trees so to do that i am just tapping my brush onto the paper with the black color now and making some leaves so with the black color i am also adding some crimson red so that i get a darker maroon shade in the bottom foliage of my leaves because i don't want them to be pitch black since some sunlight will be falling on them so i want to slightly detail them out and make them of a different color rather than complete black so i am making the lower portion slightly maroonish and as i am going up i am using some violet color and some black color so i'll again just remind you that after watching this video if you are interested in taking up my skillshare classes then just tap on the link which is there in the description and register via it to get your one month free trial now the offer is a limited time offer and will end in just a few days so grab it on quickly currently i have my seven classes on skillshare which are live and there are almost 35 plus paintings and much more detailed out classes on skillshare than my youtube tutorials so make sure you 
take benefit of the free offer which is there and just start with your one month free trial you can discontinue after your free trial you won't be charged at all so feel free to join it now i'm just adding some birds with my black color uh, make sure they are very thin and very small in size you don't want the birds to overpower your drawing so now let's just remove off the tape quickly make sure you remove the tape uh, in 45 degree angle going outwards that is away from the drawing and make sure your drawing is completely dried up before you remove your tape otherwise the tape will not be nicely peeled off and this beautiful painting is ready to go on your frames or on your shelf Hope you enjoyed painting this with me. If you want more such tutorials, do let me know in the comments and I'll be back with a video soon.